Hi, today we're going to look in the settings area at how to work with our event field options. Basically, there are pick lists or the drop down menus that you might see as you navigate in reserve. I'm going to go back in here to the settings area and I'll head into the events section. And underneath here is where you'll see your event field options listed. Let's take a look, for example, at how to add new or edit or remove event types, as all of these drop-down lists operate similarly. I'm going to navigate into event types by clicking on the link. And I want you to note at the top the division and the site drop-downs. Some of your organizations may have multiple divisions. I certainly want to make sure I'm working in the correct division. You could also be working with an organization that has multiple sites or venues that are part of it. So for this event types pick list, I want to decide, does my pick list exist at a specific site level, meaning each site may have its own unique pick list, or should the list exist at the master level and be shared by all of the sites? I'm going to work at the master list level and pretend my sites, if I have more than one, will go ahead and share this list. I'm going to create a new event type just by clicking on new. I'm going to type in tour and tasting. It's a new event type that we have. Event calendar color I'll select just in case I ever want my calendar to be color coded by event type. That is an option. You'll also see this visible in guest portal. That's only applicable if you're utilizing our online event inquiry feature. I'm going to go ahead and save. And I have now added that event type, Tour and Tasting. You may also see this Manage Subtypes. What that allows you to do is to further identify your specific event types. These are optional, not always needed or necessary. An example might be under Tour and Tasting, I could add Wine and Cheese or Bubbles and Chocolate. It just allows me again to describe it further. I can add a new subtype and I'll just use wine and cheese and I'll click save. And that subtype will now exist underneath my tour and tasting dropdown. We can also edit existing event types simply by clicking on the edit link to the left. And let's just say I wanted to replace that and with the and sign and I'll save that. Lastly, we can also remove or delete an event type that's no longer needed simply by clicking on the delete link, that event type is now deleted. I'm going to click done here just to go down and show you again the other available event field options or drop down lists. And again, let's say that we wanted to add a new canceled reason. All I do is click on the canceled reason area, click on new, and let's pretend my new cancellation reason is going to be weather. I'll save that, and again, I have effectively added that now to my pick list. So very easy to navigate around in our event field options to add, edit, or remove various items from our drop-down lists. Thanks so much for listening today.